The Soviet Union designed and built the Typhoon class of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines for the Soviet Navy. They were called Project 941 Acula in the Soviet Union. With a submerged weight of 48,000 tons, the Typhoons are the biggest submarines ever made. They can keep 160 people comfortable for months at a time when they are submerged. It's not clear where the NATO reporting name came from, but it's often said that it has something to do with the fact that Leonid Brezhnev, the leader of the Communist Party, used the word typhoon in a 1974 speech to describe a new type of nuclear ballistic missile submarine as a response to the U.S. Navy's new Ohio-class submarine. Today, we will look inside Russia's $5 billion typhoon submarine. But before we start our video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon as well. So let's get started. The Russian Navy canceled its Typhoon modernization program in March 2012, saying that it would cost as much to update one Typhoon as it would to build two new Bore-A-class submarines. After the last R-39 RIF, SSN-20 Sturgeon, SALBM was taken out of service in September 2012. Only one Typhoon, the Dmitry Donskoy, was still in service. It was equipped with the more modern RSM-56 Bulava SLBM and stayed in service until. The Typhoon-class ships were also equipped with six torpedo tubes that could fire RPK-2, SSN-15, missiles or Type-53 torpedoes. Normal conditions would allow a Typhoon-class submarine to stay underwater for 120 days, but if it was deemed necessary, it could stay underwater for even longer, for example, in the case of a nuclear war. Their main weapon system was made up of 20 R-39, NATO, SSN-20 ballistic missiles, SLBM, that could carry up to 10 MIRV nuclear warheads each. Technically, Typhoons could launch their long-range nuclear missiles even when they were docked. The Typhoon-class submarines had more than one pressure hull, which made the design of the inside of the boat easier and made it much wider than a normal submarine. In the main body of the submarine, there are two long pressure hulls that are parallel to each other. Above them is a third, smaller pressure hull that sticks out just below the sail, and there are two more pressure hulls for torpedoes and steering gear. This also makes them much more likely to survive. If one of the pressure hulls breaks, the crew members in the other one are safe, and there is less chance that the ship will flood. Underwater, the Typhoon could move at 52 km per hour. History The Typhoon class was made as part of Project 941. In Russia, it was called the Akula class, which means shark. It is sometimes confused with other submarines because the Russian Project 971 Shuka B-class attack submarines are called Akula by the NATO. The goal of the project was to make a weapon that was similar to the SLBMs on Ohio-class submarines, which can carry 192-100 knot nuclear warheads each, but had a much longer range. So that they could reach farther, Soviet SLBMs were much bigger and heavier than their American counterparts. The R-39 RIF is more than twice as heavy as the UGAD-96 Trident I. It remains the heaviest SLBM to have been in service worldwide. The size of the submarine had to be changed to fit. At the beginning of the 1990s, there were also plans to turn some of the Typhoon-class submarines into cargo ships that could carry oil, gas, and other goods under the polar ice to Russia's far northern territories. The submarines could carry up to 10,000 tons of cargo and send it under the polar ice to tankers waiting in the Barents Sea. After a lot of engineering work was done to figure out how to move oil from drilling platforms to submarines and then to waiting tankers, these ships would deliver their cargo all over the world. Between 1976 and 1985, six submarines of the Typhoon class were built. At first, the submarines were only known by their hull numbers. Later, the four ships kept by the Russian Navy, which were sponsored by a city or company, were given names. The order to build a second ship, hull number TK-210, was cancelled, and it was never built. Only the first of these submarines to be built, the Dmitry Donskoy, is still in use by the Russian Navy. It is used as a testing platform. For the SS Annex-32 Bulava missile, Arkhangelsk, TK-17, 
and subversal TK-20 are still in reserve and are not being used by the Russian fleet at the moment. All R-39 missiles have been put out of service. Since 2010 to 2011, the Bore class has taken the place of the Typhoons. At the end of December 2008, a senior Navy official said that the two Typhoon-class submarines in reserve, the TK-17 Arkhangelsk and the TK-20 Severstal, would not be given the new Bulava SLBM missile system. They could be changed, though, so that they could carry cruise missiles, lay mines, or be used in special operations. At the end of June 2009, Admiral Vladimir Vysotsky, who was in charge of the Navy, told reporters that the two submarines would be kept for possible repairs and upgrades in the future. In May 2010, the head of the Navy said that Russia's Typhoon-class submarines would be used by the Navy until 2019. In September 2011, the Russian Defense Ministry decided to write off all nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines from the Project 941 Akula line until 2014. The Typhoon-class ships are being taken out of service because the Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty puts limits on Russia, and the new Bore-class submarine has been tested successfully. Even though the Bore-class submarines replace many other types of submarines, they are shorter than the Typhoon-class, 170 meter instead of 175 meter, and have a smaller crew, 107 people instead of 160. Part of the reason for making these changes was to cut down on the cost of building and maintaining the submarines. Also, the United States and Canada gave 80% of the money to scrap the older Typhoon-class submarines, which made it much cheaper to build a new submarine. However, other sources at the Russian Defense Ministry say that no such decision has been made, in which case the submarines would stay with the Russian Navy. In 2013, the state-run news agency RIA Novosti said that starting in 2018, the Navy would get rid of two typhoons. They were called the TK-17 Arkhangelsk and the TK-20 Severstal. As of 2017, it was still not clear if the TK-17 and TK-20 would be taken out of service. On July 20, 2022, it was reported that the submarine Dmitry Donskoy was taken out of service by the Russian Navy. This seems to be earlier than expected, since it was previously said that the submarine would stay in service as a weapons testing platform until 2026. However, other sources said that a final decision on what would happen to the boat had not been made. So that's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.